In our Impact Earth report tonight, right now the Biden administration is in the middle of a years-long negotiation process to divvy up the water supply from the Colorado River. But there are some positive signs, at least in the short term, when it comes to the supply. Meteorologist Ashley DiMartino explains. Last year's record-breaking winter snowpack raised water levels at the nation's two largest reservoirs, Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Lake Powell has risen 52 feet since hitting a low point in February of this year, while Mead has risen nearly 23 feet since November. But new data shows that farmers, cities, and native tribes are using less water this year. Arizona, California, and Nevada's usage of Colorado River water has hit new lows and according to state officials and the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation in California, cities like Los Angeles who are normally dependent on Colorado River water, well, they've been able to pull more from their own reservoirs like Lake Orville. That's all because of last year's of course, high precipitation. But still, there is concern about future water resources. Thursday, the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation released a report detailing the factors that it considers when negotiating with states, tribes, and other water users over the exact how much water they will be using from the river and what the river can provide. Now, on high on that list is how the climate crisis and warming temperatures are impacting the entire basin. Another major factor is the laws of the river, which protects priority water rights of California, farmers and native tribes, giving them first dibs on the water overall instead of cities like Phoenix, Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Some states are now calling for a harder look at water intensive agriculture, including irrigating of alfalfa for livestock feed. It was just a few weeks ago that Governor Katie Hobbs terminated a water lease with Fondamite after a state investigation found that the Saudi Arabia run company has been in default since 2016. The company has come under heavy criticism for its use of Arizona groundwater to grow alfalfa for its livestock. Now, the debate over water will continue over the next several years and to make sure that we have a sustainable river for our future.